this morning at eight o'clock almost needed a jacket. Oh. Didn't by ten, but, <laughs> no, but at eight I almost needed a jacket. Really fast. <laughs> yeah, it was a little cool out there yep. today, but it definitely warmed up. The temperatures out there in the upper eighties this afternoon. The air is relatively dry, meaning not holding a whole lot of water, so you can heat it up very quickly. See there the skies over Winston Salem. You've got mostly sunny skies. Hey, excited about Providence Kitchen there opening up in the old Piedmont Club spot. I know for a fact that Chef Jeff Bacon makes wonderful cookies. All right, take a look. We have got 87 degrees. Winston-Salem humidity at 48%. We like it, right? Northwest wind at about five miles an hour. It is warmer in Elkin at 88. Yakinville also in the upper 80s and topping out at 90 right now in Mount Airy. 87 in Burlington, 88 in Yanceyville. Tonight we've got nice temperatures again. We're looking at low to mid 60s tomorrow morning. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow, but there are going to be a few clouds around. And I do think by afternoon, we'll look at maybe a shower popping up in the mountains. Very limited, not real heavy, very spotty. Heading into Friday, some spotty showers may develop across the area too. High pressure here overhead is keeping us pretty dry for now, but we're going to start to pull a wind off of the Atlantic Ocean. You know, there's plenty of water there. So with that southeast wind, I do think we can force a couple of showers along our mountain ridges. For this evening, those should be dry for your plans. Partly cloudy, warm. Temps will be in the upper 70s. Sun and clouds across the foothills should stay dry for your plans. Sunset is about 721. We'll see a few clouds with comfortable temperatures in the mountains too. Hopefully those clouds won't block out the moon because boy, it was gorgeous last night. You should be able to see it again tonight with the planet Mars just to the left of it. If you're wondering what that shiny thing is. Yeah, and it's also kind of tinted a little bit orangish red. You can actually notice that with the naked eye. Hour by hour forecast overnight into early tomorrow morning. We will have some fog that will start us off in the mountains, foothills, even across the triad. I expect at least a little bit of fog as we start the day going through the afternoon. Probably not as much sunshine as we have out there today. I mentioned that shower chance and you can see the model here hinting at that over our mountain ridges. I'm going to keep it dry for the triad. Partly cloudy by afternoon with a high of 84 southeast wind. It's light though at about five miles an hour up to 82 in the foothills by late tomorrow afternoon and that high temperature in the mountains is up to 78 and I do have that slight chance for rain. We're keeping an eye on that front. It's north and west. It's moving really slowly, but it should be here by Friday. We've still got that onshore flow for Friday afternoon, so you see a little pocket of showers that develops across our area and then moving into Saturday. Your morning events should be dry. All the walks and things that are going on this time of year into the afternoon. There's a slight chance of a shower pushing through and then as we get later into the evening, maybe a slightly higher chance moving into Sunday. Our rain chances do go up, so better chance that your weekend will be wet on Sunday than on Saturday. Yakin Valley Pumpkin Festivals in downtown Elkin on Saturday all day long. We also have the Out of the Darkness Triad Area Walk, which you guys were just talking about at Triad Park in Kernersville. That starts at Saturday morning at 930, so everybody wants dry skies. I do think early on it will be dry. If you're headed to the football games in the afternoon, North Carolina A&T, Winston-Salem State, and Wake Forest, the later it gets in the day, there is a chance that we will see a shower, maybe a little bit of thunder with that. There's your seven day forecast. Our highest rain chances though on it are not until early next week.